watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And what I want to do today is tell you about some ThermoWorks products. That's right, ThermoWorks, all right? Now, uh, if you're not familiar with ThermoWorks, I hope to make you familiar with them today. Now, this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time about the ThermoWorks products that I use and how I came to use ThermoWorks, okay? And this is, intro is going to be part of the next three or four videos as I talk to you about the different categories of ThermalWorks products that I like to use. I'm going to have the same intro on each part. So if you've already seen part one, and this is part two, I'll have it written right down there what part this is. Okay, you can go ahead and skip the intro part, all right? If you hadn't seen part one, then go ahead and watch this. Look, uh, ThermalWorks invited me up to their... Um, place up there near Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, last weekend. And I got to meet some fabulous, wonderful YouTubers. YouTubers I look up to. YouTubers that um, I've learned from. YouTubers, not just how to cook, but how to make videos. And a lot of them I haven't learned how to make videos very well, because if you're, this is your first time here, I'm just a fella having fun with food, fire, and a phone camera on my front porch right now. Sometimes it's in my backyard or my kitchen, but I'm just a fella having fun with food, fire, and a phone camera. Anyway, I like ThermalWorks. Now, me coming to, if you've followed my channel over five years and you watch some of my videos from five years ago, I didn't even use digital thermometers. I didn't, don't trust them. I'm one that don't trust a lot of technology. I have a really healthy and totally rational fear of all things technological, computerized, and electronic. My kids don't believe that. They think it's completely the opposite of healthy and rational, you know? I think it's borderline cuckoo. Uh, I really am skeptical of a lot of computerized things. If you watch my channel, I don't do like pellet grills and things because I grew up during the era of um, 2001 A Space Odyssey. It was made in 1968 about the future, which was 2001, which nowadays is uh, 21 years ago. Anyway, um, that movie, they had a computer named Hal and he controlled everything the humans did and he messed everything up. It was scary. So anyway, I, I don't like a lot of technology. So I was skeptical of digital thermometers. My mom though, she loves gadgetry and she loves to cook. And she bought a Thermapin one, uh, Mark IV a few years ago. She loved it, she let me try it out. I loved it. I was like, well, I need to get a digital thermometer. I bought a cheap digital thermometer, even did a video review of it. It was real little, real dark um, letters and uh, it wasn't, it wasn't very good. I could easily tell that it wasn't my mama's Thermapin, okay? It was the Mark IV version that she had at the time. She's now upgraded to the Thermapin One, which I'll be talking to you about in just a few minutes. Uh, in fact, up there at the thing, they even gave me a Thermapin One. All right, look, um, I'll use a lot of different Thermoworks products. While I was up there, it was said by one of the company executives there that Thermoworks makes professional instruments. I already knew that. I don't use everything ThermalWorks does and their top of the line stuff I don't need. I don't need that at my home. But what I do believe that everything ThermalWorks makes is equipment. And when I look at the stuff that's made in the, sold in the grocery stores and the big box stores and the little thermometer that I bought, it's toys. It's like the difference between equipment and toys. It's like, I believe ThermalWorks is playing good old major league hardball. And the others are playing front yard wiffle ball. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm just saying they're not in the same league. You know what I'm saying? They're not in the same league. All right. Um, so that's four minute intro. Let's go ahead and break this down in the parts. The first part I'm going to talk about is the Instarete thermometers. Then I'm gonna to talk to you about the leave-in probe thermometers, which are good for barbecue grills and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna have another one where we talk about some other thermometers like the infrareds and that kind of stuff. All right, so thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Here is the next part. Hey, you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do, and this is part two of the ThermoWorks products I want to show you, all right? I'm just a fella having fun with food, fire, and uh, a phone camera, and today I'm on my front porch, all right? Uh, anyway, um, no food or fire. We were just talking about thermometers and how to control the fire, all right? If you saw part one, I talked about instant read leave-in thermometers, and uh, I talked about their thermistor products, and I talked about ThermoWorks uh, thermocouple products, okay? The thermopins, or the thermocouple products, and the thermistors, are, are 
products are the Dash and the Pop, and I highly recommend those two. If you don't have them, go back and watch that video, and um, especially the Dash. I really recommend the Dash and the Thermopin one, okay? But second to that, the Thermopin Classic and the Thermopop, okay? Uh, if you're interested in a Thermocouple or a Thermistor one, I'll explain a little bit about what the difference is in those things. All right, all of these are Thermistor products. These are leave-in probe thermometers. You're gonna put a probe in your meat, you're gonna put a probe in your oven, you're gonna put a probe in your smoker, you're gonna put a probe in whatever you're cooking in, okay? And, um, and uh, you're going to monitor it outside your oven, outside your grill, outside your smoker, whatever, you, your pellet grill, whatever you got, okay? First one is the dot. It's real simple, three buttons, a button on the back, turn it on and turn on the light, okay? So push that and now it's on, all right? And a button to set a high and low alarm. You put a probe in right there. That's a, it's a little thing on a wire, it sticks into the chicken, okay? You set it, you want chicken at 125 degrees. I mean, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. You can set this for Celsius too. Not a big deal, okay? Or centigrade, as I grew up calling it. You just set. You get the point. You can hold it down, and it goes really fast. There's all these three buttons, okay? And so go down to uh, that's 283. Anyway, when it gets to what it is, it beeps at you. Boom! Up, ah, chicken's done. Meat's done. Whatever, okay? I love it. I've got a uh, YouTube short. It's a review on it. I'll leave that in the iCard. Absolutely love the dot, and I love the simplicity of it because I'm not, you know, a big tech guy. Okay, if you saw the intro, I'm not a big tech guy, but I do like ThermalWorks products. Uh, many of these I bought. Many of them they sent to me, and if this is the first time you're seeing this, look, um, I'm going to have links down below. Uh, I am an affiliate link. I will make a slight commission if you buy through that link. Uh, so, yeah, the long and short of it is, yeah, I'm trying to sell you Thermalworks products. But I really believe Thermalworks is in a separate league. Uh, in the intro, I said, you know, Thermalworks is playing Major League Hardball and the others are playing front yard wiffle ball. That's my opinion, okay? That's that's my opinion, all right? But if you get a Thermalworks product, I think you'll have a similar opinion too. You're like, you know, this is this is a league up, all right? This isn't minor league stuff here. All right, so that's the dot. Now, another one that works a lot like the dot, but fancier is the Chef Alarm. By the way, almost all of my Thermalworks products are either yellow or red, okay? Yellow or red. All right, and this is the Chef Alarm. Now, I bought this one for my late wife. She loved it. She was making pralines. For years, she made pralines with a candy thermometer that had mercury or alcohol in it. She would squint down at it or whatever, and she would mess the first batch of pralines up uh, because it wasn't, but when she got this, she never messed up another batch of pralines. She absolutely bragged on it. All right, so there's the probe thing I was talking about. You know, it sticks into the side right there, okay? And, um, it measures, uh, you got the on off on the back. You can calibrate this one, okay? It's got a calibration function, um, centigrade and Fahrenheit, Celsius and Fahrenheit, whatever you call it. It's got a timer on it, so you'll see the, the where it dashes, that's the thing you're reading. And you can use this for making candy, you can use it for deep frying, I use it for deep frying turkeys. When my wife passed away, this became my uh, turkey frying uh, thermometer, okay? Now, it's supposed to sit up like that, this one is about five years old, so I'll tell you, it has lost its little rigid, rigidity to it, but it still functions perfectly fine. I have no problem with it. I just set something behind it, but it used to sit up on its own. But you can set a timer, and that's why I like frying turkeys with it, because I don't like having a uh, probe inside my turkey that had just dropped into the oil to measure the temperature of the turkey. I know that turkey is three and a half minutes a pound when you drop it in a deep fryer, and I set this for the three and a half minutes a pound, usually around 53, 54 minutes, depending on the size turkey I'm doing, because I usually do about uh, 14 to 15 pound turkeys. Actually, I use about maybe 12 to 15 pound turkeys. But I set that for the time I want, okay? And then I pull it out and I check it with my thermopin or my dash or whatever to make sure the turkey is done. And if it's not done, then I put it back in and it's a little easier with just one probe, okay? Uh, by the way, if you want my turkey probe, that's my long turkey frying probe. Measure the oil in the turkey pot, all right? Anyway, that's the chef alarm. So both those, the dot and the chef alarm, single probe thermometers. You can measure either your oven or smoker temp or the meat temp, but you can't measure both. Well, that's not always good for barbecue because you want to measure how is the kettle grill running? You know, how well is the pellet smoker running? How well is the drum smoker running? And you want to measure the smoker temperature or grill temperature, and you want to measure the meat temperature. Well, you know, you saw this one, the round dot. This is the square dot. 
new in 2022. Yeah, and they sent one to Big Lou. All right, hey, that one had three. This one had six buttons, two buttons on the back, four buttons on the front. These two are for the top channel. These two are for the bottom channel. Top channel is going to be where your meat is. Bottom channel is going to be for your oven temp or your smoker temp. Okay, and here's the cool thing. You can set it to the alarm you want, and uh, your smoker may not go like they're on a thermostat, which means let's, you set it, at, let's go with 300 degrees, okay? 300 Fahrenheit, okay? You set it at 300 Fahrenheit. Well, the thermostat says, okay, it's not at 300 Fahrenheit. Turn on. And it puts pellets in the air or it turns the oven on or whatever and it goes and it goes and it goes but it doesn't stop when it gets to 300. it goes past 300 305 306 310 maybe that turns off it's insulated so it waits and eventually the temperature will drop and maybe it goes down to 295 290 kicks back on brings the temperature back up then turns back off and lets the temperature fall back down then brings it back up and fall back down and sometimes your pellet grill your oven whatever may not be averaging three 300 or 350 or 325 or 225 or whatever you've got it for it may be averaging higher or lower than that this will tell you the average temperature for the last 15 minutes and you can make your adjustments accordingly uh, it works real well as a barbecue thermometer but if you're inside watching the game, you got to go outside and look at it, which is not a big deal for power maniacs like me. I love to go out and see if the fire's running right, okay? But so there's no uh, radio control on it. So maybe you want to step it up. Hence the Thermwork smoke. By the way, my Thermwork pop stays in here. The case is separate. All right, I've had this for many years. Absolutely love it, okay? Uh, it's got the uh, remote sensor and you got two probes just like you do on the uh, square dot okay one for the meat one for the uh, thing it doesn't do an average one for the smoker the oven whatever you got it doesn't do an average but i tell you what i really like this thing i don't know why it's reading right now it doesn't have probes in there that's odd all right <laughs> huh well what happened there Oh, that's what it's supposed to do. I don't know what it did, to, but I've had it for a while. I really like it. So it shouldn't be reading because there's probes right there. You set the uh, high and low thermometer, uh, not thermometer, temperature, high and low temperatures. Okay. And then you can go inside, watch the game. And with this, okay, it, it's beeping because there's no probe. So it's not connected, you see. All right. But it'll tell you, hey, man, my uh, pork roast is about done. My chicken's about done. My brisket's about done. You can watch the ball games inside and know what's going on in your smoker because you got the remote. That's called the smoke, all right? And that's a pretty cool device. I really like it. It uh, has a range. Um, it's a rather limited range. It works with radio frequency. It has a limited range, and um, but it's not so limited that I can't get it inside my brick house into wherever I want to go from my back patio. However, I've got level four acres, and if i am got it around my neck while I'm mowing, and I'm mowing the very back corner of my property, it may lose connection, but it's not a big deal. You know, I'm smoking meat and I can just go back up and check it, all right? Um, but that is the smoke. And uh, last I checked, it was around 99 bucks. I don't know. These prices are subject to change. Don't really like quoting the prices. Okay, well, wait a minute. Maybe you've got a big house. Maybe you've got a big property. Maybe you barbecue at, uh, at competitions and stuff and you're gonna be walking a lot further than what that range is, okay? Well, they got the smoke. That's not the Smoke X. This is the Smoke X. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, it's the same thing. Got a uh, radio unit and this. There's a Smoke X2, which is just like the Smoke almost, two channels, and the Smoke X4, which has four channels. I really like this. Thermworks did send this to me last year. Um, when I'm cooking more than a lot of times people ask me to cook a lot of uh, pulled pork, right? And I may have three pork butts in my drum smoker at the same time. Well, I monitor the three pork butts and the uh, smoker temperature, and I can do it inside, okay? And uh, I still use both because I have three different drum smokers. And uh, like coming up this July, I'm going to be cooking nine pork butts, okay, uh, for a thing at, at, at my church. And I'm going to be cooking nine pork butts. And I'm going to monitor three of them in one smoker with this. And then the, use the other smoker. Um, I'm going to use the dot and I'm gonna, for one of the meats. And I'm going to use the smoke for the smoker in one of the meats. And I'll be able to check that with uh, several of the thermal. That's why I got a lot. You know, that's why I got a lot of them. All right. Anyway, 
Um, they have another one called the Signals. That's not something I'm interested in. If you saw the beginning of the video, I'm not all that interested in um, technology and it hooks up Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or something with your phone. There's also one for the smoke called the Gateway. You can add to it. It makes it go to your phone and reads all kind of stuff through the Thermalworks app. I'm not interested in that, but I'll leave a link below if you are interested in it. A lot of people really think the signals and the smoke do that. Now, uh, are good for that. Now, what the signals and smoke do do is they control a thermostatic fan. This is a little fan and it's a re really powerful fan and I hook it up to my black drum smoker and um, I got a video on that. You can see it right about there. All right, and um, I'll tell you what, um, I got confidence. I can go to bed and I know that my drum smoker is where it is. So if I'm cooking a brisket overnight because I got company coming over, I can sleep easy. And the Smoke X 2, Smoke X 4, and the signals will control how hot a fire my smoker has, okay? makes it real easy and trustworthy because I don't have a pellet grill or something that does that for me automatically. I know what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. That's part two on the stuff from Thermalworks. Yeah.